I call the honourable member Throsby. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Well, if the longest queue in the building um, is the queue outside of the coffee shop at eight o'clock in the morning, the shortest queue in the building has got to be the queue of government MPs that are willing to line up here in this parliament and defend their own government's policy when it comes to their atrocious attacks on the health care system. I see, Deputy order, Speaker. Order, order. 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 Deputy Speaker, Deputy Speaker I see Townsville's answer order. to Benny Hill has got Inferi. a lot to say, Inferi. and I see Herbert. Sergeant Strop from Out Bass over there has got a lot to say, Deputy Speaker, but none of them are willing to put themselves on the speaking list. They had an opportunity today, Deputy Speaker, put themselves on the speaking list and defend their horrid attacks on the PBS system. But, Deputy Speaker, all we see is four people. Four people who are willing to sit there, stand up and defend their government's atrocious attacks on the health system. Deputy Speaker, even the minister, even the minister who today had the opportunity, today he was given the opportunity. He was given 10 minutes. He was given 10 minutes to say something nice about the nurses who labour day in and day out, caring for the sick in our in our hospitals. He was given 10 minutes, Deputy Speaker, to say something nice about them, and he couldn't find it within himself to praise the men and women who labour day in and day out to looking, up, looking after the sick in our hospital. Well, is it any wonder, Deputy Speaker, that he had nothing nice to say about them? Because from the cradle to the grave, the nurses are copying it under this government. From the cradle to the grave, they're copying it under this government. Their deregulation of university fees. We heard during question time today, Deputy Speaker. We heard during question time today that a nurse could expect to pay close to $98,000 just to receive a university degree, which would qualify them to practice. And what did the what did the Deputy Prime Minister have to say about this? He said, "Don't worry about the $98,000 because we're giving you $500 back." in the carbon tax. Well, Deputy Speaker, with maths like that, is it any wonder that you had to give up farming? <laughs> Deputy Speaker, nurses are copying it from beginning to end under this government. Their penalty rates are in the fire, Deputy Speaker, because the Minister for Industrial Relations has promised a comprehensive review. Everything is going to be on the table. Everything is going to be under, on the table, Deputy Speaker. So those people who work 12-hour shifts across the weekend, 24 hours a day, Deputy Speaker, what they can be looking forward to under this government is an attack on their penalty rates because it's in their DNA, Deputy Speaker. And if it's not enough, Deputy Speaker, if it's not enough that they're coming after their university fees, they're coming after their penalty rates, Deputy Speaker, they're making it harder for them to do their job, they're going to ask them to work longer, Deputy Speaker. Because only a government that is made up of people who've never had to work hard shift work in all their life, who has nobody, nobody, nobody who has done a hard job where you've had to stand on your feet, Deputy Speaker for 12 and 14 hours a day would suggest that you could do that until the age of 70, Deputy Speaker. And that's what the nurses have got to look forward under this government, Deputy Speaker. It's an absolute and complete uh, breach of faith. Deputy Speaker, we heard the minister say that there are no cuts to hospitals. Deputy Speaker, we know they don't like to listen to union officials, but here's one union official that they might like to listen to. Because to a big because during question time today, Deputy Speaker, the AMA had this to say. Deputy Speaker, he said that they had this to say. They said that Australia has one of the most efficient and high-performing health systems in the world. The AMA has said that the health budget is not out of control. In complete, in complete contradiction to what the government is trying to pull uh, the wool over the eyes over the Australian people, Deputy Speaker, they say that Medicare spending is out of control. Well, I had a look at how Medicare spending is out of control, Deputy Speaker. They, they, go, they like to look at the figures over the last 10 years. Well, Deputy Speaker, 4.8 per cent in terms of government outlays in 
4.6 per cent in 2013-14. It's actually gone down in terms of government outlays, Deputy Speaker. The AMA knows it. The nurses of Australia know it. The nurses and the AMA and everybody who's got anything to do with the health system know that your rotten GP tax and your rotten plan for the health system just order, won't order. watch. Order. Member Thrusby's time is